Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Excellency Juris, Respected Committee of this English Speech Contest, the MC, and all audience Let me introduce myself first My name is Mafa and I'm from Junior High School to Chiamis I'm standing here before you First of all, I wish you have a great morning and it will be on you all In the name of Allah, the most graceful and the most merciful All praises Thanks due to Allah, our master of the universe. Peace and salutation be upon to our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, who has brought us from the darkness to the lightness. I'd like to say thank you to the MC and the committee of this English speech contest for giving me a chance to deliver my speech today. And today, I come up by the title is The Impact from Globalization Era to Indonesian People. Do you let this? The ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, as we all know, today we live in a globalization era. An era who gave us the easiest way to get information from other places, communicated with others, and the development of technology was so fast. In Indonesia, the development of globalization era can bring a foreign culture. A foreign culture in Indonesia gives a major effect to our life, and this effect not only a positive effect, but also a negative effect. Therefore, we must be smart to select which one is the positive effect and which one is the negative effect to our life. The ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, for my first question is, what factor that causes the Indonesian people get influenced by a foreign culture? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as my research, I have two factors, internal factors and external factors. Internal factor is the factor from ourselves, and external factor is the factor from outside, like friends, mediator, and families. Dear ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, a foreign culture in Indonesia gives a positive effect to our life. Do you know the positive effect from foreign culture to our life? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the positive effect from foreign culture to our life, for example, first, we can learn the habits. Mindset, behavior from a development country as motivation to be better in the future. For example, a Chinese value that always appreciated in time. Second, the development country can create the new unique culture without losing our identity as Indonesian nation. Dear ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, besides the positive effect, there are also a negative effect from a foreign culture to our life. Do you know the negative effect from foreign culture to our life? The negative effect from foreign culture to our life, for example, first, the losing of many local culture. With the development of foreign culture in Indonesia, makes Indonesian people leave the local culture to move to Indonesian foreign culture. Second, the absence of many bad attitudes like ethnocentrism, westernization, stereotype, provincialism, and many other bad behavior. Third, Many teenagers dressed under Hazar are influenced by a foreign culture. So people, if young generation don't care about the negative effect from foreign culture, what will happen with the moral of our young generation in the future? Dear ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we as the next generation has very important role in maintaining our nation and also our culture. So what can we do to fix the problem of the impact of foreign culture in Indonesia, I mean the, the negative impact? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. First, we must realize to ourselves, we must realize that our nation has many amazing culture. Second, show to the world about batik, keris, anglo, wayang to be known in the world. Third, we must be creative, make a new unique culture without losing our identity as Indonesian nation. Other people can proud with the nation, why we as Indonesian people who has a many amazing culture can do that? Dear ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, a culture is we and that cannot be changed. A culture is the gift from our ancestor for we to show to the world who we are and what we stand for. So ladies and gentlemen, I as the next generation, I'm standing here to open your mind and ask you, let we preserve our culture and love it more and more in order to not lose our identity as Indonesian nation. 
Dear ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, that's all my speech today and I hope it can be very useful for us. Moreover, if there any harm work, please forgive me. I beg your pardon. It will be very exciting for me. In another time, I'll be with you again. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.